from Milky Cabrera swing, simple, easy. He's not a lot of parts to it. Kobe Rasmus is that one guy that has to play every day. Mm-hmm. He has to get reps, and the more reps he get, you're seeing it. He can get the bad head out in front of the plate, and when he stays in the middle of the field, which means he doesn't get pull happy all the time, stay left center, right center, and that ball he hit yesterday to uh, dead center, that's a bomb in Fenway. And when he starts doing that, it's going to really help the Jays until they can get their three big boys back. We had uh, Tony Rasmus, Colby's father, on primetime sports last week when I was hosting it for Bob McCowan. And we talked to him about about Colby. Mm -hmm. And he was making the point that Colby's a tinkerer. We know that. Colby's one of those guys that likes to fool around with the swing. But he also said that when he does, it's usually his hand position. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm watching him. Obviously, I haven't played in in the major leagues or the minor leagues. I'm watching him last night. What do you think when you see a guy holding his hands the way the, it's, it almost seems uncomfortable to me? It almost seems like your hand should be closer into your body. It does. Well, most guys that hold their hands lower are, have a, a tough time of hitting the ball up. Okay. And that's why you see pitchers a lot throw Colby up because it's hard to get on top of the ball. Right. Which means he has a more parts to his swing along with the leg kick. He has to move his hands up. Everybody can start. You can start your hands wherever you want. Most people get their hands in a locked position, which means if I go to punch you, I'm not going to do it from down here. I have to get up. That's just an example. I'm Mm. not going to punch you, but I have to get it up to do it. That's my strong point. Kobe's the same way. He can start it down here. He can start it where Barry Bonds used to Mm -hmm. start it, down and wiggle it, but it has to go up at the point of contact when you get ready to hit the ball. And That's what I say. He has to play all the time, get consistent reps, for that swing to work because there's so many parts. That's why he tinkers with it so much is because, let's face it, most of the time it's not working. I mean, mm-hmm. it's he's he's real easy to pitch to, which means he has a lot of holes in his swing, but we're seeing it now. When he figures it out and he gets hot, he can carry a team for, say, two weeks. And right now is the best time. I mean, he's getting hot at the right time. The Jays really need this. They need him to start hitting the ball in the gaps, start hitting the ball out of the ballpark, start hitting two- and three-run home runs and help this team, help their pitching staff late in the season. And it's fun to watch when guys work as hard. Nick Colby's a hard worker. And when you see guys working that hard and they're frustrated and, you know, he looks like a lot of the times he just doesn't know what's going on. He can't figure it out. And and when he does figure it out, it's fun to watch because you can tell he's a real hard worker. And it's good for the Jays. 